Hi everyone, Ron Kreider reporting for duty today. Today is Super Bowl weekend. Big, big, big weekend. Everybody's looking forward to this. Remember, be careful. Mask up, distance space. Come on, let's not get together and have these horrible parties and everybody gets sick and then the numbers go through the roof again today. All right, so today is uh, Sunday. It's February the 7th and of course it's a very important day. It looks like this could be one of the biggest Super Bowls ever in terms of number of people who watch it on TV since so many people aren't going to be able to go to the game. Now, in addition to that, I want to tell you, I have a couple of little short news clips that I put together. One is on the Super Bowl over in Tampa, so I'm going to give you a little update on that. Notice my phone always seems to ring about the time I start doing these things. As you can see, it's uh, 1023 in the morning on Sunday morning when I'm putting this first little piece together. So the first uh, the short news clip I got is a bit about what's going on over in Tampa. And then the second one is, you're not going to believe this, this is a horrible maskless party in Tampa going on this weekend. Now, just maybe I'm too old to appreciate it, but as far as I'm concerned, it looks disgusting. Call me old-fashioned. Hey, yes, I'm almost 80, so I guess I can be old and old-fashioned if I want to be. This is totally disgusting, but you got to see what's going on. This is what happens with the rest of the world. And then on Friday, there was an issue with Publix, with the Publix website, and I was sitting there trying to get on and couldn't figure out what was going on. All of a sudden, it refreshed, and then I, I kind of lost my place, and I gave up after an hour and a half. Well, there's a good reason for it. There's a little short news clip on that. And once again, for you Catholic folks, since it is Sunday, it's a little short piece on the Catholic church and the vaccines and they will tell you that well i'll let them tell you what it's all about they can do it a whole lot better than i can so i hope you like the way i'm putting these things together i'm trying to find credible people that i can put in these little short video clips that i can come up with for you people to see what's going on and understand it and it sounds more professional if it comes from somebody who really knows what they're talking about i had gotten so many people saying to me Crider, what the heck is wrong with you where do you come up with this stuff that's not always the word they use but nonetheless these are more credible people and they say who they are and where they are and they are very recent i try to get them within the past 24 hours so we're going to do that and then following those things we're going to jump right into the numbers for today and the numbers we have no idea what they're going to be because we won't see them until towards uh, till around three or four o'clock this afternoon and we'll drop the numbers in and at the end of the numbers we have shout-outs today, and we have new updated shout-outs. We've got to go all the way to the end of the shout-outs. This isn't a tease. It's just kind of the way it goes together to see some of the new people that are watching, and we do appreciate you watching very much. But don't forget to push that like button. I would appreciate that. I hope your team wins the Super Bowl today. I personally think it's going to be a really good game. All right, let's drop into these little short uh, news clips, and then next will come the numbers. Stand by. In normal times, the Super Bowl is one of the country's great social occasions as Americans gather to take in the festivities on the field and off. But in the era of COVID, there is tremendous risk. Health experts warn that watch parties could jeopardize the fragile gains we've made since the worst wave of the pandemic. Infections fell again this week in 42 states, but deaths remain stubbornly high. Total cases near 27 million. The U.S. death toll now topping 461,000. The Kansas City Chiefs arrived in Tampa just one day before the big game. The late arrival is just one change due to the pandemic. Hand sanitizer. The NFL's uh, Peter O'Reilly says the league has partnered with state and local health officials, along with the CDC, to keep Sunday's 22,000 Super Bowl spectators healthy. We feel very confident in our protocols, and we've got the learnings from more than 115 games this season. There's been no cluster spread coming out of any of those games. Mass will be mandatory and fans will be distanced in the stands. Florida has been hit hard by COVID with more than 1.7 million infections since the start of the pandemic. Tampa's Mayor Jane Castor issued a mask mandate, including at events held outside. People can face a $500 fine if they don't wear one. I got to ask you, I've walked around here a little bit. There are a lot of people not wearing masks. How are you going to enforce it, especially outside? Most people aren't used to wearing them outdoors, but our community will adhere, and then we expect that the visitors will as well. People arrive at the airport, the first thing they're going to hear is you need your sunscreen, your sunglasses, and your mask. 
The stadium will host 7,500 vaccinated health care workers. But one player, Chiefs offensive lineman Laurent Duvernay Tardif, won't be on the field. A doctor, he opted out of the COVID season, choosing instead to work in a long term care facility in Montreal. I follow my conviction. Like I said no to that in order to promote health. And you got to be able to lead by example and make the tough call. Will receive these black KN95 masks at the stadium, while healthcare workers will get a special white one. The game and the halftime show with the weekend are meant to be a balance about respecting the cost of the pandemic while also creating some joy. Setting up multiple screens to help out her neighbors, Kathy Rethmeyer noticed something different about the public's COVID vaccine appointment site Friday morning. There was a blue button indicating that, yes, we were still waiting, but we also noticed almost immediately that the counters were not counting down. And she wasn't the only one. Some said they got all the way to picking a date and time for the appointment, but then the Book Now tab would not work. A public spokesperson said the website experienced a brief delay in the scheduling process, and within the first hour the system was working again, 48,000 appointments were scheduled for next week. We know it's taking tons of people and energy to make it all happen. We're very grateful, but there are definitely room for improvement and we are very hopeful. You know, that's why we keep doing it. Once you get to this screen, you are in the waiting room and in the queue. It's important that you do not refresh the page. The site goes live again at 7 a.m. next Wednesday, February 10th. Michelle Casada, WPTV News Channel 5. Hello and welcome. I'm Catherine Hadro, and this is a special EWTN Pro-Life Weekly report with the latest on COVID-19 vaccines, the use of aborted fetal cell lines, and what the Catholic Church is saying about it all. The Vatican Monday declared it, quote, morally acceptable for Catholics to receive COVID-19 vaccines that used fetal tissue from abortions and either testing or production, quote, when ethically irreproachable COVID-19 vaccines are not available. The Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith stressing, though, that the licit uses of the vaccines does not and should not in any way imply there's a moral endorsement of the use of cell lines coming from aborted babies. This Vatican news comes exactly one week after the U.S. Bishops Conference released its official statement on the COVID-19 vaccines and ethical concerns. That announcement, signed by the chairmen of the Doctrine Committee and the Pro-Life Committee, justified the use of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, saying they are not morally compromised, even though the fetal cell lines were used in the confirmatory testing. But the U.S. bishops said Catholics should avoid the AstraZeneca vaccine because the aborted fetal cell lines were used in its design, development, production, and testing. All right, folks, here we go for Super Bowl Sunday. Here are the numbers for today for February the 7th, 2021. Okay. Everything is down somewhat as usual for the weekends, but look at it. 97 new deaths reported in the past 24 hours in the entire state of Florida. That's 49 less than yesterday. The positives, 6,624. That's 862 less than yesterday. Vaccinations in the total state of Florida. Florida has vaccinated 2 million 448,711. Let me do that a little better. 2,448,711. And in the past 24 hours, 81,352. Not bad. Not me, but not bad. Okay, Miami Date. 32 new deaths to report in the past 24 hours, 1,415 new positives. Miami Dade vaccinated 2,206 in the past 24 hours. Let's take a look at Broward County. That's Fort Lauderdale. Seven new deaths to report, 832 new positives, and 1,979 new vaccinations in the past 24 hours in Broward County. That's the Fort Lauderdale area. 
One new death to report in Palm Beach County, 385 new positives. Palm Beach County vaccinated 4,733. They outdid just about everybody, 4,733 in the past 24 hours. And then in Orange County, that's up in Orlando, poultry 1,235 vaccinations in the past 24 hours. One new death reported, 331 new positives. Brevard County, that's Melbourne, they vaccinated 1,748 in the past 24 hours, five new deaths in the past 24 hours, 234 new positives. Now in St. Lucie County, check this out, no new deaths to report in St. Lucie County. 78 new positives though, 736 new vaccinations in St. Lucie County, that would be Fort Pierce. In Martin County, which is Stewart, two new deaths to report, 25 new positives, 1,281 new vaccinations in the past 24 hours. And then here in Indian River County, Look at this. No new dust to report. Very good. 53 new positives, 558 new vaccinations in the past 24 hours. That is a very paltry amount. No, you know, obviously you can see that. Don't need to tell you that. All right, let's take a look at the zip codes here for Indian River County right now. Zip code 32948, four new positives. All of these will be positives in the past 24 hours. Zip code 32948, four. Zip code 32958, seven. Zip code 32960, 12, that's Vero Beach proper. Zip code 32962, that's 6. Zip code 32963, that's here on the Barrier Island, 5 new positives. Zip code 32965, zip code 32967, 7 new positives in the past 24 hours. And zip code 32968 would be 6 new positives in the past 24 hours. We're going to down here and take a look at the 7-day moving averages. Not a great big deal, but it's better than yesterday. Yesterday we had 178. Today we have 174.86. That means that approximately 174 people passed away each day for the past seven days in the entire state of Florida as a result of COVID-19. These numbers down here, they're uh, as of 5.01 p.m. yesterday, but it'll give you a rough idea of what's going on. These are from Bloomberg. All right, so let's take a look at this. So far, the entire United States has vaccinated 40,524,402. In the past 24 hours, the entire United States vaccinated 1,426,098. And the government has used up 68% of their number of vaccines available to them at the moment. Now, that's going to change every day as they get new uh, new supply of vaccines. So I wouldn't be too worried about that number. Let's take a look at Texas now. Texas vaccinated at 109,611, and they've used up 70% of their vaccines. California, they vaccinated 169,480. They've used up 64% of their vaccines. Here in Florida, we vaccinated 90,147, and we used up 68% of our vaccines. Up there in Rhode Island, for my friend Jay Grutman, they vaccinated 3,414 in the past 24 hours, and they've used up 59% of their vaccinations. In Colorado, they vaccinated 21,358. They've used up 70% of theirs. In Wisconsin, they vaccinated 31,252. They have 79%, almost 80% used of their allotted vaccinations at the moment. Minnesota, 30,715. They've used up 74% of theirs. New Jersey, 38,906, and they've used up 70% of theirs. New York, the entire state of New York, 71,199. They used up 69% of their allotted vaccinations, and the city of New York vaccinated 23,900 people in the past 24 hours, and they've used up 64% of their vaccinations. Now, if you look over here on the right-hand side, these are the number of deaths in the past 24 hours for the entire United States, 2,730. Texas 334, California 307, Florida 146, Rhode Island, we don't know whether that's a zero or they didn't report anything. We're not sure. We're going to take that as a zero, okay? Colorado, 17 in the past 24 hours. Wisconsin, 32 deaths in the past 24 hours. Minnesota, 16 in the past 24 hours. New Jersey, 77. And New York, 236. Alrighty, folks, now let's take a look at the global view. These are the big numbers, the very, very big numbers. USA cases since we started, 
26,974,579. Almost 27 million people contracted COVID-19 since we started keeping track of these. USA deaths since we started, 462,992, almost 463,000. These global cases, we always talk about them in really big numbers because it's almost 106 million people contracted COVID-19 since we started keeping track of these numbers. And that was back in the early part of the year. I'm not sure whether they started doing them in March or they go all the way back to the beginning of the year. Nonetheless, it is this year and it's almost over 106 million. Global deaths so far is 2,313,000 Four seventy-seven. Alrighty, folks, those are the numbers for our Super Bowl weekend. These are the numbers of past 24 hours, of course. So uh, I hope your team wins. That would be a really good thing. I have the shout-outs coming up here in just a moment. The very, very newest shout-outs will be on the crawl at the very, very end of the video. This is not a tease. That just happens to be the easiest place for me to put them. Obviously, if you don't care about the shout-outs, you don't have to watch those because I've given you all the meat of the information that I can today, and I'll look forward to seeing all all of you back here tomorrow. So here come the shout outs. Thank you again for watching and don't forget to push that like button. Thank you so much.
All right, folks, here's a revised list of the people who are watching. These are people I don't have pictures of yet. I'd also like to remind you about the best restaurant in Vero Beach is The Tides. It's been the best restaurant for about 10 years. Riders Gourmet Market is spectacular. We love Riders. New now for about, uh, I think they opened right around the uh, Labor Day. And uh, the Polo Deli and Bistro, love those guys over there. The Village Beach Market's about to reopen. Maybe it's open by now. The Ocean Grill, Vines Boutique Restaurant with uh, Zandra Sim over there. Coffee House 1420, Pomodoro Grill. And we have the Fort Steakhouse in Fort Pierce. Absolutely the best steakhouse around here. Mega Mallet still may not be open up in Melbourne. We'll have to check on that. Uh, Coconut Cafe Cove, a German restaurant up in the Melbourne area. Citron Bistro here. Cobalt Restaurant. The Wave Kitchen for Paella, of course. Francesca's Italian Restaurant for fabulous pizza. Amafi Grill, the best Italian restaurant in town. Two J's. Ayalisco, Mexican food. Ronda's Seafood, the best seafood place in town. Treasure Coast Barbershop, say hello to Young Sheldon over there for me. And then we have the Marine Bank and Trust Company here in Vero Beach. And that will be Marie and Kim. They're really great people over there. Best bank I've ever dealt with. Here are our new watchers. Robert, Dorothy, Sean, Peggy, Nick, Cheryl, Priscilla. Do we know Priscilla? Jackie, Regina, Diane. Heather, Heather's always back. Good old Heather. Thank you, Heather. Thank you for being back again. Jill, Nancy, Robert, Sherry, Curtis. Save the best for last, folks. you got to keep watching here at the very end to see if you pop up on the new ones. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Victoria. It's our beach here in Vero Beach. 13 acres of paradise. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a very, very blessed day. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget to push the like button. I sure do appreciate that. Ron Kreider signing off for today.